Germans got nothing to do with it. What do you say? Shut up one shit at a time. Good afternoon, people, and welcome to Ned Kelly Videos, Trucker Ned, or whatever you call me, Ned Kelly Ireland. I have so many names, I've forgotten half of them myself. Um, I just want to let you know the reason I removed Spain Part 4, the final part. Um, there was a lot of bad language in it, uh, too much bad language in it, and uh, YouTube basically told me that it's not suitable for advertising. That was one problem. The second problem is that uh, some people got awful offended um, by some of the things I said so I just decided to remove it there's no point in leaving it up there you know um, I don't want to finish out my final video with a rant about this that and the other people who watched it the 20,000 of you who watched it know what I had said and there's no point in me going to repeat it and uh, so listen this is just a rerun of Spain part 4 if you've already seen it I apologize for those of you who haven't seen it I have changed it slightly I've taken bits out put bits in put a bit of extra music I'm not unfortunately going to be able to get out on the continent again for a long time the last trip I did was out in April and I haven't been out since um, unfortunately my my family circumstances don't allow me but as soon as I can I will and I do intend to do livestock as well <laughs> I know that will make a few people laugh but I do believe me or not so if you're listening to anyone from trainers there up the uh, up north if you're interested in a uh, good livestock man um, you never know right listen anyway without further ado guys thanks a million for your support and you know what they say about YouTube love your haters have a great weekend how you doing folks I got 20 seconds to complete this intro hello to Case and Timmons and hello to Sean Connolly your dad's asked me to give you a shout out uh, today is Thursday, uh, the 4th of the 4th, 4th of April, um, and we are sitting about an hour and 40 minutes uh, due west of Barcelona, and today is our day where we start our collections. Uh, four collections to do in around Barcelona today, I think most of it's kind of packaging stuff. Um, but my first collection is right down near the coast in Barcelona. It's only one pallet, then I'm lifting 22 pallets, then I'm lifting one pallet, and then I'm lifting two pallets. Sorry, 29 pallets. So we'll have we'll have a total full load out of it. Uh, I took 11 hours off here last night. I'll explain the reason why. I got here about nine o'clock, and if I was to take my nine hours off, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'd be leaving here at six o'clock in the morning which would lead me into the middle of Barcelona at 8am, which is the middle of rush hour, so that's a no-no. So what, what I gain in taking the nine hours, I'd lose in traffic going in here. Um, also, the reason I took 11 hours off here last night is because I want to save my nine hours and my 10 hours driving for going up the road home. In other words, whenever I'm loaded, I'll be able to do two 10-hour shifts Oh, sorry, one 10 hour shift and I'll be able to do two nine hour breaks because I've already done one nine hour break so far. You're entitled to do three. Um, as long as you, you know, make it up the following week. So that's the plan. So I'm just, we've, about, we've an hour and eight minutes done. Uh, and the traffic, as you can probably appreciate, the closer you get to Barcelona, the, the, the more traffic you're gonna encounter. Uh, we've had literally the motorway to ourselves since we left our rest area, but uh, it's now getting busier, and that's just only to be expected. Uh, 33 kilometers more on this road. And then we'll be into the hands of the gods, as I say, to see if we can find where we're going. Our first collection is only one little measly pallet. Our section, second collection is 29 pallets. Our third collection is two pallets. And our last collection is another one pallet. See, all these, all, most of these fellas on this road now are, are Spaniards. And they're in and out of Barcelona every day or every week. And they know exactly where they're going, most of them. I don't. And neither does that Polish man in front of me. That's why we have to just take our time. Take our time. And arrive alive.
system S I N E L Now, that's it there. So I'm just gonna have to go in and ask, get my high vis on. And just go in and ask. Just go in and ask is all I can do. Not too bad here actually. There's not plenty of room around. You need to be mindful of the fact that the stuff is coming from the opposite direction. Jesus. Hello. Uh, is this is this your company? Yes. Yes. Okay. No, this one. This one. The first one. Yes. Um, I have um, collection one palette for Ireland. Thank you. At the back. Is it possible for the big camion to go at the back? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so she said it's. She said I can go in, so. That's fine. It suits me fine. It's always better to check before you drive in. Now. I hope there's room around the back here. Always better to check. Jesus. It's not that much room in here now I'll tell you if that truck wasn't there I might be able to get in all right.
Well, this is turning into the bit of a day from hell. Um, I need to be in that, in there, that's where I'm loading. And uh, one of these, Mod Modassa, uh, is blocking, blocking the port for me. And now another one is after arriving and blocking the gate now as well. And I'm supposed to be loading here at three o'clock. I've been waiting since 11 o'clock to load here. So. Hello, collection for Ireland. Okay, one moment please. Thank you. Hello. I have one pallet to collect from you yeah. for Ireland. This is here, okay. you. Okay, okay. okay. one pallet. Uh, okay, see, see, para pasar por por aquí. Una cosa, eh. The camion, uh, like exacta, this. Exact, exact, sí, sí. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, TMR, paper? Yes, I will get you. Algo, okay. Very good. What time you finish? No, eh. Uh, Diez. Ocho? Ah, a las siete. siete. Yeah, okay. Siete, siete, okay, siete. Siete, siete, okay, okay. Because I panic. Oh! <laughs> I think, oh! <laughs> no problem. No problem. Be, yeah, yeah, because uh, big problem in Barcelona. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. four hours wait. Barcelona. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> Cra crazy, crazy town. But everything is good now. Just one CMR, yeah? For you. Thank you. Okay, I'll reverse it. too close to that car, you know what I mean? I mean it's awful easy, you know, they swing around and then bang, you know? Perfecto. Okay, that's okay, no problem. No problem, thank you very much. You live in a nice place. You live a beat. For you, for you, Barcelona, nice. Okay, you, yeah, okay, okay, no problem. Barcelona, Barcelona, no. No. <laughs> you don't like? No, no. Okay. For me? Yes, do you want me to sign this or are you okay? I'll just sign that, yeah, this is just for me. Now, your biro. Perfect. Perfect. Have a good weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Ciao.
He climbed into his 18-wheeler And once more he thanked the dealer For the hand that life had dealt him For over 30 years This would be his final journey A little sad, a little lonely As he remembered all the good times The heartaches and the tears So he fired up his engine Released his air brake screaming Left the docks behind him without a worry or a care This week he would retire Sit beside the fire and tell stories to his grandsons Truckers everywhere And deep down in his pocket was a well-worn leather wallet A gift his father gave him as he stood there by his side With two pictures in the middle One a mother old and feeble And a young girl who was just 18 When she became his bride He motored down the 75 It sure was good to be alive As the memories came rushing back when he was a boy And he often told the story How his dad bought his first lorry A Bedford flat he bought one day From a man in Knock the Claw Every day he'd rush home from school To help his dad load flax and wool To haul it to the market And here he answered a band Then he knew his school day soon would end for all he ever wanted then was to be just like his daddy A big truck driving man And deep down in his pocket was a well-worn leather wallet A gift his father gave him as he stood there by his side With two pictures in the middle, one a mother old and feeble and a young girl who was just 18 when she became his bride Just like the truck, the years rolled on he Finally got his one for one when he showed it to his mom and dad Right shone with the light And his father from his pocket gave him a leather wallet Said always keep it near you Every day and night So next week I'll hand the wallet on To my boy to carry on That's travels down that highway On the long white line of life And deep down in his pocket He'll keep a leather wallet With a picture of his mother And his newly wed young bride was a well-worn leather wallet A gift his father gave him As he stood there by his side With two pictures in the middle One a mother old and feeble And a young girl who was just 18 When she became his bride And a young girl who was just 18 When she became his bride figure it's going to be on National Road, but there you go. Not to worry. These roads are all good anyway. Four hours and 14 is all I've done. Do a full card today, do a full 10 hours.
See what I'm saying about me taking the 11 hour break last night. You see, I could have used one of my nine hour breaks last night and I could have been in there. I could have been in, shut up. I could have been in there in Barcelona to load them 27 pallets a quarter day this morning and your man would have still told me three o'clock. So that would have been a waste of time. So I was right to take my 11 hours last night and you're always right to take your 11. When you need an 11, take it. Take your 11 until you need them. Or should I say, save, save your, 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 your nines and your tens. Last night I dreamed you were back again Larger than life again Holding me tight again Placing those same kisses on my brow Sweeter than ever now Lord, I remember how Couldn't get enough of kissing Do you know how much you're missing? No, you don't but I do Days like a slow train trickle by and Even the words that I write Refuse to fly All I can hear is your song Distractions I've been using Do you know how much you're losing? No, you don't But I do But I do And I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue Is no word from you at all the best that you can do I never meant to push or shove you Do you know how much I love you? No, you don't but I do I swore I'd never fall like this again Fools like me never win Came to my knees again Can't close the door Just as good I always believe they would Gotta let your love invite me Baby, do you think it might be? No, you don't But I do But I do And I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue Is no word from you at all The best that you can do Never meant to push a shove how much I love you No, you don't But I do But I do And I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue There's no word from you at all The best that you can do I never meant to push a shove Do you know how much I love you No, you don't But I do
You have a good look at the back of my trailer there now, sunshine. Oh, Ned, you're bad. I'm not bad, Mo. Just that you know, when you know, if someone has a, has enough power to overtake me, I'll just let them go, Mo. You're mean. Yes, I am mean. I I, I understand that bit, Mo, but. Quite nice. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a lake or whatever it is, but it's quite picturesque. Five past seven now, PM. And I'm just tipping on nicely and I have a nice light load, which is fantastical because I, I, I suffered on the way down with a heavy load. I certainly did. I suffered. Beautiful sunny evening. The weather's been fantastic. Now, it's been cool at night time and cool during the day, but it's lovely and sunny. And that's my favorite kind of weather. Anything except the murky rain and the mist and the dirty clouds. Sunshine is always much better for your soul. Anybody will tell you that. I just hope that this, coming up here now to take my turn in um, 12 kilometers, I'm going on to the A61 in the direction of Toulouse and eventually Bordeaux. Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Seamus Kenny says Bordeaux. PJ Nolan says Bordeaux. I say Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Got a Bordeaux? You got a Bordeaux? 
Yeah, I got a ball, ball dough. I got a dink ball dough. So, there was something on the sign saying A61 Firm A something. I hope it's not closed now. Because I don't really want to go Claremont for and. I will if I have to, but I don't want to go that way. I much prefer to go Toulouse, Bordeaux, and then straight up the coast. I have please follow the motorway for 98 kilometers 12 and a half 13 five two and a half hours driving left that's what I've got left and we'll see where that'll bring me two and a half hours driving left now the old daylight's fading fast here service area is all quiet of course it's a Saturday in the French the French are not into work on weekends you know the French like their time off and they're right to it's only gobshites like us who work at weekends it's gonna have a quick Quick check around. I 
Everything seems to be okay. Now. Let's hit the road, Jack. Now we'll do four and a half hours. Um, Navi. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please, Lord, keep a watch over me for this journey and keep myself and the load safe from all danger or harm and that we may not have any problems with police or anybody else. Okay. Now, oh, that's a good four and a half hour, four hours, 15 minutes done. It's enough, have a bit of a break, might get a bowl of soup or something. 
Now one of our last turn-offs, as it were. Coming up now. It was handy, got a nice break in the traffic there. <laughs> Our fridge is remarkably clean. Now, I don't know whether that's a mixture of rain and whatever. It was clean coming out, but it's just as clean coming home. Just as clean coming home. Now, Sherboogie 103. Uh, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Now Nolan's wandering a bit on the road there. don't like them. There used to be a problem here years ago in, um, in Sherbrooke when I was doing it full time. There was a long-nosed bastard called Pinocchio who used to operate exclusively out of Sherbrooke port and what he used to do was he used to basically sit on the roundabout on the way into the port waiting for Irish drivers to come in and it wouldn't make any difference whether you were in your truck, whether you were asleep or whatever he's banging on your door even with your curtains pulled he's banging on your door looking for your disc as he used to call it um, and looking for any reason to find you now Pinocchio was outed first of all he got the he got the living shit kicked out of him one day he started on some Irish driver in Cherbourg here who wasn't in the humor for him and uh, he started giving jip to this Irish driver and your man just literally got out of the truck and kicked him around the road um, he actually ended up in hospital, I think, Pinocchio did. But uh, what happened to him was he stopped and found an English driver belonging to some company in England that were running 100% legal and took money off this driver. So the English company went to the police and made a complaint that their truck was fined for no reason and gave the reference number of the ticket that, that Pinocchio had given him and there was no record of that ticket anywhere so what, what actually transpired was that Pinocchio actually had two books he had one book for himself and one book for the French police so he was basically taking money off truck drivers and putting
I've been lucky so far. So far, I've been lucky. I haven't been stopped at all. Didn't get stopped in France on the way down. Didn't get stopped in Spain. And coming back up through Spain, I didn't get stopped. And so far in France, I haven't been stopped. When I say so far, you know, when I'm on the boat, then I'll say, well, I didn't get stopped in France at all because you, you, you're not safe anywhere in France, even in even in with them. Port. That's the truth. <laughs> Some nice um, period houses around around this area on the way into Cherbourg. Some nice stone buildings. Um, obviously private residence, but they're, they're nice. They look they look nice. They suit the sort of area, you know, there's nothing really gaudy. It's all old fashioned sort of stone, stone masonry on them, which is quite nice. It's actually a nice place. Sherbrooke is actually a nice place. Oh, my legs are getting stiff. My knee is stiff. A bit stiff myself, Ned. Uh, are you, Mo? Are you stiff, Mo? Yeah. You know what to fix that, Ned? Uh, well, what would fix that, Mo? A, a nice beer, Ned. A nice beer. Yes, Mo, but you're off the beer for Lent, Mo. Ah, bleeding hell, Ned. Give me a break, will you? You're not off the beer for Lent, Ned. You can't decide who's off what, Ned. You, you can't tell us what we're doing, Ned. That's right, Billy. Ned, I'm having a beer tonight. That's it. Uh, Mo, you're not allowed. You're going to break your fast. I don't care, Ned. I'm having a beer, that's it. Okay, Mo, don't... Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm having a beer too. And if I have two or three, I'll start boxing as well. You will not start boxing, Billy. Oh, just me and you, Mo. Just mess... Just mess... Mess it, Mo. I'm going to mess... Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, ooh,
see one of our I see one of our trucks there. And I don't know who that is now. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the left. More than likely one of the European gentlemen. Head west. In 600 meters, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit. Now, that's me, done and dusted. I'll go for a walk around, have a look at who's in and who's out, who's here and who's not. of fridges and stuff. Basically, lads who are turning. Six fifty. Very nice. And there 
there's one of Heinz there in a Renault. I wouldn't like that now, I'm afraid. Horrible tag axle on it as well. Yuck. These are all the guys here who are turning. Nolan's in an 04. Daft, fair play to them. One of Dixon's 191D, Arik, obviously a, um, there's one of our own, Polish registered. All these guys you see with the units only it'd be all turning now here's Craigan she's saying she's no she's no spring chicken either a 620. Nice yoke, all the same. A few of our tools there. O'Donovan, all 500. Nice. Nice. And a nice Cheru fridge. Oh, that is nice. That looks brand new as well, that trailer. She looks brand new. Let's have a look at the back and see which way she's finished. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. She's got all the marker lights. And she's got the marker lights here as well, which just makes it look really nice at night time. Very good. Can't but help to get the smell of pish. <laughs> you all know what that's from. There's another livestock trailer, R730. Well, that's really nice. Left hand drive as well. Lovely trailer. I'd say that's a new livestock trailer, too. All the, the fans and everything on it. Hansborg Bischoff. Oh, that's a good one. A Northern Ireland Ridge on it. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, these trailers have to be spotlessly clean whenever they're finished, you know. You can see where the, the cattle's urine has corroded the uh, some of the ports. You see the doors there. That's very nice. Now. I think for a 7.30 she'd have... Uh, 
a light bar or something on it. She's very plain, isn't it? Very plain. For a seven. It was Christmas Eve, babe. And the drunk tank. An old man said to me, Won't see another one. And then he sang a song. The rare old mountain tune. I turn my face away and dream about you. God, I'm the lucky one. Came in late ten to one. I've got a feeling this year's for me and you. So happy Christmas. I love you, baby I can see a better time When all our dreams come true Christmas Day 